we just need to hold on to the ball and, and, and just get a couple first downs and just get the ball rolling. You know, coaches brought to our attention that, you know, we've had, I think, seven plays in the first quarter, five, you know, six, seven plays in the first quarter in the last like four games. You know, and that's what it, that's what it's felt like. It feels like we're, we're sitting on the sideline for a long time, you know, and it's hard to get in any any sort of rhythm, you know, when we're doing that. So we got to take advantage of our opportunity and be able to, uh, you know, establish something on the field. And uh, in the second half, I feel like it's, you know, worked out for us a little bit just because we've been able to get in that rhythm and, and have some confidence. You know, even Tennessee, you know, we had six, seven plays in the first quarter as well. You know, but luckily going in at half, it was nine seven. We had we had you know a good opportunity to be able to take take the lead in the second half, and so we were able to do that. And so, uh, really, we got to go back and you know just figure out what we can do to get us get us started uh, or earlier this uh, this next uh, New England game, and uh, how we can just come out you know firing from the beginning. Got a lot I'm learning every single week, and I'm always putting my mind on on new things I need to learn and. And with that, sometimes comes, you know, being a little bit robotic. And, and I think sometimes that's how those throws come out is I'm, I'm aiming them. I got to just throw it and rip it, you know, kind of how I do it in, in the second half. You know, when we have some of those big plays down the field, I'm, I'm just reacting and um, throwing it to where I feel like my receiver's at and how they're coming out of things rather than just trying to put it, put it to a spot. Every drill that we do um, is all dedicated to footwork and timing and how I can get those balls out. And so, you know, I would say maybe a few are a reason why maybe I'm inaccurate on some you know, short things, but, but for the most part, it's, it's the mindset of me just being able to throw the ball and, and, you know, not aiming where I'm throwing that ball and, and just playing confidently and just being able to rip it and, and understand that it's there just like we have been and just getting into that flow and understanding that we're a good offense and can do a lot of good things. And, um, you know, we spent a lot of time on the footwork, so I wouldn't say it's that, you know, I don't want to feel like I have to make an excuse for myself of, of why I'm not getting the job done. You know, I, I understand that and I understand it's a process and having perspective, but I have also a high expectation for myself and what I feel like my ability um, and, and my ability to make plays and all that kind of different things. So, so yeah, I mean, of course I understand that. And I understand Josh Allen's, you know, gotten really good with just being able to just keep getting more reps and getting used to this NFL game. And he's, you know, obviously super talented, and very confident player. And so I know that time will come for me and I just need to keep working it and getting better. And of course I need to be patient, but you know, I have high expectations for myself. You know, Elijah Moore is a, he's a baller and his time is coming, you know, just like the rest of us, you know, I wish I could get him the ball more. I know that's part of my job and, and uh, I know he is a dominant player and I need to get him the ball more. And so, you know, really, I think it's just, it's just buying into the process and understanding it's going to take time and, you know, he's going to keep his head down and keep doing his thing. He, he doesn't need to try and, you know, do too much or try and, you know, change anything he's doing because he's a great player and you've obviously seen that. And so, um, I think as time goes on, you know, we're just going to keep getting more comfortable with each other. And, um, you know, he's obviously someone I'm always looking to get the ball in his hands because he's, he's very dominant. My expectation for myself is to do better than this. You know, my expectation for the team is to have, you know, one every single game, you know, just because I, I know that we can and I know that we um, have the ability to do that. But we also know that this is a process. And, and just like you said, we're getting better each and every week. So that's not something we can necessarily worry about or or get down on ourselves for, and we need to just be able to just keep learning and getting better and, and um, you know, really just kind of forgetting about the past and understanding that, you know what, sucks to not, you know, do super well the first five games, but, you know, we have a lot to look forward to. I'm very hopeful, you know, watching the film um, as far as just what we've, we've shown on film and what we, what we know we can do and how close we are to getting it done. And so we need to, you know, just be able to keep going with it.